Hey, this is Cool Trains of Montreal, and I got eastbound freight here at Dorval that I had originally seen at Beaconsfield. It's crossing over. It's going to be on the closer track. There come the lights. Yeah, this train, I was just out of position. I didn't get it at Beaconsfield, but I'm going to get it here. And uh, while this train was going, I did film a commuter train come in and a via train over there at Beaconsfield. And uh, this train stopped and was waiting for clearance for about uh, 45 minutes, I guess. So yeah, I did wait uh, quite a long time for this. And I'll be biking back after this. Yep, so this is that train. And it's heading into the uh, into the yard there. Into the IMS. It'll be going around the, those curves. So it'll be pretty uh, pretty much a slow burn. Here you can see it's coming in with the sun coming down. It's about 7, uh, 7 15 p.m. So that means at the IMS it'll be taking that curve at around 7 25 p.m. I'm almost certain it's going to go into the IMS. So it's got one CP locomotive on the front there. It's gonna have one more in the middle and one on the end. And I believe they're gonna be all uh, ES44s. bike is there right on the right on the platform Yeah, you want to be a little bit further away from this train. These trains are big and uh, to get a good photograph of them you really don't want to be right on top of them. Not only is it safer but uh, it just makes a better shot when you're a little bit further away. So any minute now, 
the first of the uh, DPU units will make an appearance. This train was stopped down at Valois. The tail was at Valois and uh, the head end was just over at the switch there at uh, Dorval. That's how long these trains are. This one's, I think, pretty much solid, uh, a solid um, double stacks, and I think there's some auto racks on the end, if memory serves. Right, that one's an AC44 CWM. So the one on the end, I believe, is an ES44, just like the one on the, uh, the front. It's kind of a windy day today when I went out biking, so I didn't go as far as I really wanted to. I would have liked to have, you know, seen this train probably down near uh, that's that uh, really um, slanted road with the hill over at uh, Il Paro, uh, Boulevard Il Paro crossing maybe or even better to be on uh, the Dorian Bridge which is there's a spot there on the Dorian Bridge that used to be a, a bike path people can fish off there and walk and uh, you are close to traffic, but you're not on traffic, not bothering traffic. It's legal to be there. And you can get a great view of the trains. And so as I said before, this was at uh, the same train was at Beaconsfield. And so I basically got ahead of it just by biking up here. And I still had a lot of time to spare. And if I had thought of it, I would have gone over to the uh, the IMS yard and looked, uh, watched this train go around the curves there. That's actually one spot I'd love to go to. Yeah, another time, I uh, see this train again and it's a daily train I'm pretty sure I can get it if I see it I'll know that around 7 o'clock 7.15 it starts to make it makes its way over towards the uh, the IMS yard because you don't want to be standing on the fairway bridge there all day really or if you want to get it at the curve there fairway crossing because uh, where those tracks curve, they come up in a big loop, serving a kind of uh, few industries actually on the, in an industrial park there in Lachine. I've seen it from, uh, from above. If you look on Google Earth, you can see what the actual track path looks like. It could be compressed into a kind of little model railroad, actually. It's going to be kind of a loop with the main line and uh, a few curves, but just basically a modified loop. Not often you can find like a real life loop as the model railroad usually is. Yeah, this is a long one, man. These ones usually take about, yeah, 10 to 15 minutes to come through.
Here we are at the 10 minute mark. But this one will not take too much longer because there is going to be uh, a single DPU on the end pushing. And uh, won't be much. Won't be much longer. And as always, here at Dorval, lots of planes. And this is the DPU right here. as it's heading eastbound into the IMS yard and it is taking that curve over there going into the yard lead so if you like what I do please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal have a good day